Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 419. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 415 to 422. Hey, uh, this is a question asked about um, a video on adding the three largest. Let's see how to add the two largest and then there's a twist. So how do you add the large two largest? You just use the sum function, right? And then you click on, you do it by hand, right? You do each one by hand, you click there, and then control, and then click there. Well, that would do it, but forget that. We'd have to do all these formulas, and especially if you have 500 rows of this, you don't want to do that. So inside the sum, we'll use large. Large is great because it'll find the first largest, second largest, third largest, fourth largest. So I'm going to highlight all of these. We want the two. One first and second, so comma. Usually you just put a one here for ma max or two or three for the third largest. But watch this, you just use a raised syntax, curly bracket, one comma two, and curly bracket. Now usually when you start putting arrays in formulas like this, you have to use control shift enter, but large and or function sometimes is another example. Small uh, will handle this array without control shift and enter. I'm going to close parentheses on that large, close parentheses on the sum. And in the other video I use control shift enter, but since then of course I've learned that you don't have to for this particular formula. All we do is control enter. And sure enough we copy it down. So it's added the two largest. You can see 13. I got this one and this one. Now here's the twist. Uh, this person asked, I need to skip columns C and E. Well, the best thing to do is just move these two to the end and not include them in your calculations. Those can be whatever. But uh, they said, no, they need to stay where they are. So here's big nasty formula for that. Equals sum. It's actually not that nasty. We just have to add, have to add two ifs in the large that say skip this column and this column. So sum, same as before, large, same as before the array. Instead of just broop, we have to do two ifs. So if and what's the logical test? We'll use the column function. If column of all of these close parentheses, if that's equal to I'm sorry, not equal to and we want this is C which is 3, E which is 5. So we want not equal to 3 because we want to take the we want we want the this one, this one, and this one, which are not three. So we say not three. So that that deals with this column, but we need comma and a second if. Same thing again, column, and we're going to say this, and when it's not equal to five. If both of those come out true, because it's going to deliver a bunch of uh, trues and falses, trues and falses, when they're both get some trues, then what do we want? Comma. Sorry, I forgot the close parentheses. Notice the screen tip just saved me. I was going to get busy, keep typing, but I noticed that it's still asking for that reference, so I've got to come here and fix my mistake. And when I come right here, the, the screen tip says, oh, I'm still doing the logical test. So comma, if that's true, both of those are true, then what do I want? I want these values to be dumped into the large. Close parentheses. Oh, these falses, we don't need to worry about them because they'll just deliver falses, which won't bother anything. So close parentheses. Close parentheses on the if. I'm watching the color. Close parentheses. Oh, the screen tip says, hey, please give me the array. And it's the same thing as before. We want curly brackets 1, comma 2, and curly brackets. That says the largest 1 and 2. Close parentheses on the large. The sum reminds us that we need a close parentheses on that. And this does require, because this if, that argument in the if is delivering a bunch of trues and falses. And that always has to have control shift and enter. So now we can see that it has skipped these two, and the two biggest are five and four. Here it skipped that six all entirely, so it has a one and seven. Now, this hard coding, I never like to do that, so there's an easy the work around here instead of putting a three and what if you don't even what if you're out like in the IV column right you have no idea what number it is so instead of hard coding a three just do column uh, not equal to column and we'll just click on that particular cell right close parentheses same with this five right here I don't want to put a five for this I want a column function looking there and by the way um, 
yeah, I, pu I put the actual cell reference so it's always looking there. So column, and for this one, I'll click right there, close parentheses. So all I did was replace the 3 and 5 with the column. And so now when I control shift enter and double click and copy down, not only that, but if I cut and paste this somewhere else, that formula will update. All right, so there's a big nasty formula. Not that nasty, we just added two ifs with the column saying skip the columns for adding the two highest scores. All right, we'll see you next trick.